Greetings everyone, 3D Hero here, and welcome to a brand new lore series that I decided would be a really wise time to make a start on. Something that I've seen a lot of you guys have been asking me to do in Time for Two, and in terms of bringing lots of content, I thought this is the best way around to create lore focus around the world of Timefall and Apex, so you can all stay up to date and also give your thoughts on the matter and to some theories that you might have in mind. So for today's video, let's take a look at something nice and simple. Let's take a look at a very beloved and also quite annoying weapon to face against, the famed Smart Pistol. The Smart Pistol is an anti-personnel weaponry that first appears in Titanfall 1 and then in number 2 and is well known for its ergonomic design and pinpoint laser accuracy to all those caught within its range. Created by the Latimosa Armory, the Smart Pistol is part of the next generation of advancing AI technology to create incredibly powerful and yet accurate machinery for a 100% success rate whilst on the field for any known pilot or assassin. The weapon comes in two models, with the Smart Pistol MK5 being available in Titan for 1, and then replaced at an unknown date with the new model and given a new designation number of Mark 6. The Mark 6 variant compared to its older version now includes a new recuperating charge handling, frame integrated ammo counter, multi function laser aiming module or LAM for short, improved ergonomics, an integrated standoff muzzle as well as improvements to the targeting capabilities. The different upgraded variants indicate that another variant will be designed in the near future with even more better features than its predecessor, as long as the war carries on. Now for the weapon, it holds 12 rounds within its base magazine and has a maximum capacity of 24, which is enough to take out a small group of boots on the ground soldiers with one single shot each. It also is a semi-automatic, allowing the user to either rely on the AI to do the aiming, or the user to manually aim themselves. This flexibility of auto change on the spot helps users with taking out certain individuals without alerting them. As a boost in Titanfall 2, the Smart Pistol is a one use power up that can be activated at 60% of the player's Titan meter, whilst in Titanfall 1, it was actually a prime weapon to be used but was swiftly changed when Titanfall 2 was introduced. Unlike every other weapon, the Smart Pistol only has one spare magazine for a max total of 24 rounds. Its lock-on speed is governed by both distance from and between the targets and the center of the lock-on reptile. The downside to using the smart pistol is that it can alert the target that they are being locked onto, making it easier to evade but also requires free lock-ons to instantly kill any pilots compared to using against grunts who only require one lock-on. The downside to using the smart pistol is that it can alert the target that they are being locked onto making it easier to evade but also requires 3 lock-ons to instantly kill any pilots, compared to use against grunts who only require 1 lock-on. This makes weapon perfect for crowd control but not so much against players. The weapon is the choice of backup weapon for designated pilots and deep cover operatives, most infamously used by the advocates in clandestine assassination operations. Not much information is known as to how many have been created in production or how many users actually use them. But considering how strict in design they are and the way they function, I would have to guess a limited amount of them were created only for specialized scouting units, aka the militia SRS unit, and the solo assassins. From an outside perspective, the smart pistol looks like a highly customized sidearm for the general soldiers out in the field, and a normal militia or IMC soldier will probably see this as being true. However, once linked to a pilot's main suit and headgear, the weapon truly becomes alive in its design. It seems the Smart Pistol is designed to utilize the entire pilot kit to guide the weapon's projectiles to whoever appears in the user's feed. Upon connecting with the user, the user's visor takes a change in the design and will show two brackets in the middle of the screen that will act as an indicator the moment you reach a target and lock onto a target. Once done, it will light up red and a red line will appear aiming directly at the user's head or machinery's main weak points. From here, all you have to do is click the fire button and the weapon will automatically fire on all targets it is locked onto, with no hassle including ordinances. Now how this is done is unknown as not much information has been disclosed as to the inner workings of the weapon. However, I theorise that what makes the weapon smart isn't a built-in AI chip doing all the work, but rather it connecting to the user's visual feed to create a link between the two so that the weapon has something to see and make the needed calculations before being fired. Pilots in Simicrum use the most high-tech gear made available on the market for them so they can survive longer and do their job much more efficient. The most important aspect to most pilots are their helmets, which aren't just simply used for protection, 
but also for recording, gathering, pre-planning attacks, and creating a link in between the user and the titans, so both sides can share whatever information they have flawlessly. From the many in-game information, video feed and dialogue provided through your helm, it only makes sense that any sort of device, notification or weapon will appear in the user's feed the moment they interact with it, so they can keep them updated in real time. So the smart pistol case here is doing the exact same thing that any other sort of device being connected to the user is doing, just with a little more action involved. Secondly, we don't see the standard foot soldiers picking up the weapon and using it on the field, which if they did, the war would probably be over a lot more faster, or a counter would have been made, thus making them obsolete. Although I still believe they can still be used by the user if they don't have any sort of specialised gear to connect to the weapon and make them pinpoint accurate. What would most likely happen is that the weapon would lock that feature until it's properly connects, and then the user can use the weapon as a normal sidearm when manually aiming. However this is done, the weapon would still perform the way it was designed with a 100% success rate upon all those logged on. Since its introduction, the reception on the weapon has been mixed, with most players saying it takes no skill to use because of the lock-on feature. But others have said that the lock-on feature isn't a big issue considering the time it can take to lock on to others. Plus, users who are locked on are notified well ahead of time to counter, so there is no excuse if you're aware and don't prepare. Overall, the weapon is a perfect crowd clear, which does what it is designed to do, and makes short work of any individual caught within its range. Its limited use and highly advanced AI has slowly sipped its way into another known weapon used by the Legion class titans via the Predator Cannon and Smart Core. Both devices were created by the Latimosa Armory, which indicates that all smart technology are created by this one manufacturer, and considering that the majority of soldiers' weapons in game have been created by the manufacturers on a large scale, we can definitely theorise that more smart AI technology gear will probably be released in the near future. So guys, what do you think about that lore breakdown? The idea here is to give you guys something to chill and bring your thoughts to when I'm not doing Destiny content, and it's something I would like to explore more on as there's so much to explore and theorise to sum up. I know a lot of you guys liked the Davis and George video I did a very long time ago, so how about we carry on with that style on my channel and gently see how it goes from there. So if you enjoyed the video, then do please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny and Titanfall content now. If you dig that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you on the next one.